Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great. In this video, we will talk about how to apply Facebook login in any application, Flutter application like this. Suppose this is your application and you have mentioned here login with Facebook. So if you click on this particular button, it will be redirect to Facebook app page and I have already logged in with my account that is why it is saying, saying like this so suppose if I will click on continue so this is my data okay so in this video we will see how to integrate Facebook login in your application so first of all you will have to add this package Facebook flutter auth inside pubswake yaml i have used any here because uh, it will take uh, the code and uh, the data from this uh, package according to your sdk and the version of the dart okay that is why i have written any here so without making any delay let's uh, jump into the code and without and uh, before that i just want to request you please like share share and subscribe my channel for more updates more videos your um, like and your uh, subscription act as a motivation for me so let's get started first of all we will have to create facebook developer account so for that search facebook for developers and this particular developer.facebook.com here is login option i have already account made with facebook so i will log in if you don't create a new one this is my app option there are particular apps that i have created i will create new one business next display name test app fb Certain I don't like if we are not allowed. Okay, I will move this. Meetup done. Enter password. And then submit. There is a Facebook login option. On setup for now I'm going to do Android setup next next and have to you need to copy the package name here so go to your project and copy the package name from here this is the Android folder Android app SRC main You need to go inside this build.gradle okay so this is the package name that I will copy from here let's paste inside, inside dot main activity save it it's taking quite time move to next hash key for creating hash key we'll have to go to this and right click is open in terminal 
So all you have to do is just write A T L E W S I G N I N G Gradle you sign report. Snap enter. It is taking quite time for generating SHA one key. From that SHA one key, we will create hash key. So this is built. This is my SHA one key. I need to copy this. Copy this one. Go to this website, tomkit, tomkyo.net. Paste it, paste it here. Convert. Okay. Copy your hash key from here and paste it here. Make it save. Tap on continue. Save it everything. Save. Next. Don't have to copy anything. I have already did it. I will tell you. Next. Next. So after going to save, save and next. Let's, let's move to dashboard and copy your app ID and just inside Android app main race values folder Sorry, this is the value folder. Create a new file by the name strings XML like this. Strings dot XML. I'm not going to create it because I have already did and copy paste my this code. I will put this code each and every code on GitHub and I will provide you the link for the particular codes. Okay, just copy paste it and replace your app ID like this, so this, and also replace this. Okay, and as you have seen in the, in the beginning, my app name is test app, so I will remove this. This is a test app. Okay, so. One more thing is required Facebook client token. So go to the settings, advance, advance, and there is the client token. Just copy it. And paste. That is done from our side and one more thing that uh, will, we will have to do just copy these codes these two line okay and this line this whole line from line number 7 to 22 below inside this application tag and if this line is also not available you can add this okay that is it let's run the app
so my app has run it is installed successfully Let's close it for now there is the ui so before clicking on this button i want to show you the coding of course i have pasted the school to code in the git lab i will github sorry and i will share the link with you so on this particular button i'm calling this method this is a, this is actually the login uh, page first page and, and this is the basic coding i have taken elevated button and on press i am calling this method this is the facebook auth and the result will be stored in this variable it will check whether it is uh, login successfully or not if it is successful then it will come inside this condition and the data of the particular user will be uh, initialized in this variable and we will going to fetch the data like uh, profile picture like picture, picture data url this is for profile image this is the name and this is the email okay so i will paste the important uh, code inside git lab github and i will share the link with you people like this this code and i will also paste this code and i will also paste this code okay so these are the impo important uh, code for this project and i have used a package which is called flutter facebook auth okay for that so let's tap on this button i have already logged in with uh, my account that is why it is saying continue if i will press on this particular button yes i am logged in and if you see the console i am also printed the value here this is the data this is my name this is the email and this is the picture i am taking picture like picture data url because of this this is the picture this is data and this is url so i have moved to the next screen and this is my login to facebook screen this is home page and this is but i am passing all three data like this these are the some basic things and i have taken inside this way scaffold app bar this is also the basic thing and i am showing the data like this i will also paste this code inside github you can check that and i have also added the logout button so how can we log out from facebook like this facebook or dot logout and navigate to login so this is my profile picture this is name this is email and if we will press this logout so we are logged out from this facebook okay so thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe and hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now